that you're doing it's denny's fault it's denny's I, fault. okay so we we totally miss it again see there's something that's bad about default it like goes on over and is, and is muted it's not supposed to be i don't know you did something when you changed it and you put in the new um microphone and now it doesn't default no, back I, over I, I to this thing so. it, yeah don't, you don't, don't it's so. totally your fault denny it's totally your fault so nobody even got to hear the joke nobody got to hear what your funny thing was look at least it was only two minutes in <laughs> that we, we were muted. This has happened like the second week in a row. Second week in a row. I, I think it's I think it's something that you've done with the microphone. I don't know. Something that you did, Denny. It wasn't doing it like Typical. that before. Typical. Typical. You're the thing. audio engineer here. You are supposed to be. This like, is this your is, video thing. The, it's, I'm you, set up the mic. You, you yeah, take you set up the mic. You're supposed to do the audio engineer part. You're supposed to fix it so it doesn't do all, all right, that. Whatever. <laughs> So this week we are doing um, the very last uh, bottle in our classic series, and that is the dun, 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 the Chateau, Chateau Summer Show. So it's the Harvest Select Riesling. Woo! Oh wait, I forget which one it is. <laughs> is it the right one? Wait, come on, applause. Yeah, that one. <laughs> That's a good game. Jeez. Really? Really? Do you see it? All right. Work of pure, unadulterated ego. It is absolutely worthless. Mm hmm. There we go. I know. So, starting next week, we'll be doing our splash wine series. So, that ought to be fun. I'm super excited about that. All right, Jenny, let's get this show on the road. Go ahead and open up that bottle there. You going to talk about it? Yes, I am going to bring up the little hoo ha that I. Uh, um, that I pulled up about this. This is the, the Tasty Notes because this is actually, um, what vintage is this? 2018? Can I see? No. On the box? No. I'm busy. I'm busy. Is it 2018? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So the vintage on this one is 2018. So I pulled out the uh, Tasty Notes for this particular one. Our Harvest Select Riesling is made in a slightly sweeter style than our Columbia Valley Riesling, but still shows our classic Riesling character. It offers rich flavors of ripe peaches, balanced with crisp Washington Riesling acidity. It's like a bowl of fruit in a glass. That actually sounds absolutely delicious. And this is the perfect time of the year as it gets warmer outside. Um, I, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all down for some fruit in a glass. How about that? Yeah, I'm ready. Denny is not ready. So next week, we're going to start on our flash wine series, which we got a big old box of 50 
15 different wines. So we got 15 weeks worth of wine covered on. <laughs> and we have a new sound effect, so I'm excited to try this one out. How are you going to do it when I'm pouring? Are you going to do it at the same time I'm pouring? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Here's my glass, Denny. Here it is. married to a sound designer and sound engineer it's fun he finds and makes all these different oh you have a different YouTube okay here we go I love it that was fantastic fantastic I love it Denny that is too cool we got to get we got to keep getting some more um like cool sound effects like that that one was a really I'm just I made that one he totally made it I made it what are you doing? <laughs> Did you just taste it? <laughs> oh my god, Danny! He's like, fuck it, I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking to that. I guess you were. All it right. Tastes since pretty good. You got a piece of cork in my glass there, Mr. Man. Oh, that's that's not good, but that's all right. All right, so Don't blame me. it smells blame the like cork. fruit. Cork, it does smell like fruit. Cork is all you know, yeah, it's not breaking apart. I know, it, it did break a little bit, just a little. Just it's not one of those bit. rubber part cords, it's old fashioned. I know it's an old fashioned it's cork cord. It's, it's a, a cork real cork. Riesling type thing. They're it like, does smell delicious, German. I have to say. It oh, it tasted delicious. Did it? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to clean my glass since, Mr. Man, you already took a drink? You filled these glasses pretty full, didn't you? Let's go by the sound effect. It's a, it's a, this is a, this is your kind of wine. This is, definitely this is wine. definitely a, um, it's a summer, it's, it's, it's a summer drink. It is, it is a dessert wine for it's not, sure. It's not dessert. It's, it's not a dessert tastes wine. It's like dessert for sure. It is a sweet Riesling, which obviously Rieslings typically are sweet, which we, it's probably why he actually picked it because he does like these sweeter ones a lot more. But I like it, um because it's actually not too sweet. And that is my problem with a lot of those sweeter wines. They tend to be too sweet and I don't really like them. So how did it taste with the grape? Uh, it's all right, it's hmm. okay. It may not be a complimentary flavor. And these grapes are really sweet. I liked it. I like that a lot. With the grape, that was really, really nice. Had a great flavor. Uh, are you just eating and drinking and not even saying anything about it? Cheese. Okay, cheese. I just did a strawberry. Cheese. Oh, I'm gonna get that. Oh, I really like it with a strawberry. Get the meat. I don't know how it'll hold up with the meat. We'll see. I'm doing the cheese now. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> it's good with the cheese. All right, I'm the doing the cheese. tastes like snozzberries. Snozzberries tastes like snozzberries. This is actually a pretty good wine. I'm impressed. I didn't expect I know. that much from it. I didn't expect it to be very good. I really didn't. <laughs> You know when it's the, you know what's deceiving about it is what? that when it says it's a sweet riesling, okay. Mm -hmm. So we've had many rieslings in our time when we were in Germany. Yeah. And I would say that they're not exactly created equal. They are not. Because there oh, is some, wow. there is definitely some. All right, I gotta stop you for just a second. Did you you, you had it with the meat right? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, it's really I mean Pairing unexpected well. pleasure. In my mouth right now. Pairing pretty well. It's pairing well with just about everything. Do you strawberry and chocolate thing? All right, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, sorry, go ahead and continue with your your story about the the sweet ones in um, Germany. Mm. 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 Chocolate strawberry. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Okay, hold on. I got the I got the all of them in my mouth. Well, what I'm saying. We're in Germany. Mm -hmm. We went to flavor. many um, Rieslings because that, is, that is the region that we were in. Chocolate. 
And um, not exactly create equal because, you know, depending on the vineyard, depending on the levels of it, too, because oh, so much a wide range. They even had dry Rieslings. They do. They, so, they actually make one. So the thing was, is like, it was not exactly create equal. To get into the sweeter areas of it, you'd be thinking more of the, I'm going to get the name of the pronunciation wrong, but I always say Oslezi, but it's not that. Oslezi. Is, yeah. is that right? Okay. Well, anyways, it's always, that was always a sweeter grape that we go. This I can kind of almost compare it to being sorted along that line. You know what? It kind of reminds me of that Oslezi that we used to drink. Right. That you really liked that a I lot. That I liked a lot. Right. Yeah. We brought back some, but it didn't last. We didn't bring back very much. We should have brought back. So when it says sweet Riesling, it doesn't really tell it right away. But what it does say here, though, because it's on the scale, because this is what we did see with a lot of ones over in Oh, yeah, Germany. you got the, it says it's medium Starting sweet. Starting off dry, medium dry, medium sweet. And then there's... Sweet. You know, candy, mm, right? Candy. Candy. So one. this one is just about the candy. Mm, no, it's at medium sweet. No, see? but it's at the high end of medium sweet. It is. So it's just about the candy. It's like just about there. But I so like it because it's, it's not, not so much there. So sweet, right? It's, it's not so much high. there that it's going to be too much. I don't know. After a while, you get candied out, right? You can't drink that for too. If long. you if you if you constantly if you don't know anything about ice wine, which is a very unique that um, special wine very that they they only harvest at a certain time and they capture at a certain period, mm -hmm. and it is super candy dessert, right? Yeah. Great when you want to just like do a mm -hmm. celebration and it comes around the time of winter and holidays. But yeah, because they harvest it after it freezes. But um, which is, that's why it's called ice wine, which is really cool. But they have that all year long or many, you know, many in a row. Um, you'll grow tired of it real quick. Yeah, can do it. Mm, I really like the cheese. That's why I like, well, I did like the Aussies because it was not like the ice wine where it was super candy. It was like this. The ice wines tend, tend to be a little bit, to me, some of them are a little bit syrupy. They're so sweet. It's like they're so, so thick and almost like syrup. It's so, so much. Can't do it. But I will take some more of this because this is damn delicious. It's like, like, it's like one. light and fluffy, like light, light, like cotton candy, but not. That's too much sugary. But no, not cotton candy. It's, it's like candy. cotton candy, but not cotton candy. It's like these grapes. It's like it's like cloud sweet. Cloud sweet. That's interesting. I've never heard anything can you know called. Well, because cloud you because you get to float with it, you know. You float with the taste. You just you just floating over. No, it's like a floating taste. It's like it's it's not too it's not too over the top. Look it's, at that, y'all. It's, it's really not too over the top, pretty. and it's not too down to the yeah, basement. It say it's not too down about peaches, right? It's not too grounded to the basement either. It's like just floating. It's it does, floating taste. I don't know if it's just peaches I'm smelling though. Obviously, it's great, but this it's one? not it's not like grape great. This one. I don't know how like, much this one costs, but I would go buy it again. I this would, would be too. like this would be like Daddy, one of my I would too. This would be like one of my um your favorites. Like my German favorites that I never get to get anymore because I'm not yes, there anymore. This, I would, agree. this would be one that I would go, oh, I want to go right back to it. I'm going to have some more of this chocolate. And the funny thing about it is that I think it was only it's like deceiving. eight or nine dollars. It's deceiving because we always associate reasoning, well, at least I do, always associate reasoning with German region. I know that there's more region and it goes across, so it's not necessarily the Mosul goes through Germany and it goes through France and everywhere else, right? Mm -hmm. But if you mention reasoning to anybody, a lot of times they're always thinking of German already. Like, they're already like, well, I would. If you said reasoning, I'd think, oh, well, where? What, what, what part of Germany? Well, it's not from Germany. This one's from California. This, this one's actually from California. This one's actually, because it's a grape. It's not like the yeah, grape. Yeah, it's a grape. Unlike the grape knows the region, it just, it's the grape. Well, right? they brought the grapes over. But. So, it's kind of a thing. The name is French. I know. But it's not. It's not. And the funny thing is that when we were when we were in France, when we were in France, we were we were going to the local um, wine shop there, and we were just man, whatever crazy thing. Because when you go, you're overseas, and you're like over in the wine shop of France, and then it, you're you're literally getting it from France. Like there's no like the import label's not there because it's literally from France. 
Oh yeah, that's true. There were no import. So I mean, it's just like it was. It was amazing. It, it was amazing when we were there. That one, we can get the wines from the base that from all the region around. Yeah, we were able to. Two, buy a lot that of those we can fashions. literally go to the, each one of those places. We went to France. and just pull it off the shelf. Like, that oh, hey. We went to the grocery store in oh, Paris. Yeah, Audi. Around no, no, no. But I mean, in but Paris. Audi is in Germany. But in Paris, it was like it was just a. We went place. around. Yeah, we were like walked down the street and around the corner, and there it's was like a, a little, little grocery, grocery store. I don't even and know. And you could just pull store. stuff. It wasn't a little grocery store. It was store. a grocery store. Yeah, it's a mini mart, right? And we just pulled, pulled a couple of bottles off the off Didn't the wall, and it was like. Well, we knew what know, the grades were. Yeah, we knew what the grades were. So and we don't. And Jody knew a little bit of French, so she knows some of it. And then, if not, she, they, they mostly speak English there, too. <laughs> they did. It was so funny because I spoke French that I've been waiting my whole life to do. And they spoke back she to me in perfect American English. So, so you know, she English. told the story. I have told this story before, yes. I waited my whole life to She's like French. Sean on, on, on um, Smartless. Smartless. You know that one time when I worked with Kenny Rogers? Did I ever tell you I worked with Kenny Rogers? Yeah. Did I ever tell you about I worked with Kenny Rogers? Yeah, we know that story. Yeah. I was an elf with yeah. Kenny yeah. Rogers' yep. show. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, totally know that one. Yeah. That. John, Sean, you can just stop telling that story now. Mm -hmm. There you go. I think I, I thank think, you. I think I can go ahead and just rewind and I can probably get that back. Yeah. Can I get that time back mm -hmm. from you know from hearing that story so many times? No, probably not. However, I have told that story a lot of times, and but it's true, y'all. It's true. Well, here's a new story. We went to Belgium and we're going to figure out that. Most of them would speak English because nobody can really speak. No, no, Dutch. no. You're talking about Dutch. Yeah, that's Holland. All right, Holland. Okay. We went to Amsterdam. Netherlands. We went to, we went to the Netherlands. And but um, we found out. Well, they mostly speak English because, because no one else in the world only, speaks only, Dutch. Only the, the locals that language. live there know how to speak Dutch, and nobody in the world really knows how to speak that. There's, yeah. You don't learn if you go to school. There's not. There's, no there's not really Dutch Nobody in that, that list anywhere. anywhere. No. 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 Because it's, that's actually, actually a really hard language. Yeah. There was an episode of House. Where he got, what was it? He got a prostitute from Belgium. No, Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yeah, to to interpret a letter. <laughs> so he was paying her time, house. the video yeah. time. Leave it to house. Yeah, video time, right? To have her interpret this writing. Oh, because it was. Uh, I, I know it's totally sidetracked, but that's that's where I remember house. That's the episode. He's like, "Are you on like a?" Like a porn video site? Shut yeah, up. I'm yes. using it for research. Exactly. <laughs> I'm using her for an interpreter, so yeah. It's totally right off the board. It's the easiest way to do it. Come on. That's what <laughs> he said. Was. <laughs> probably was. <laughs> it totally Why would I call some really, you know, interpreter that I gotta get here when I got this one free to go, here to go. And we have a relationship. I mean, yeah. we already know each other. It's all good. <laughs> He's a really good I miss house. I miss house too. But this is a really good one. I'm really excited about it. All right, so, man, it's time to uh, with that. It's give time. A, give a vote on dun, this dun, one. Dun. We don't have a drum roll, Denny. Where's our drum we roll? We do have thing a now? drum roll. The it's drum roll, the other one. one. Yes. That's the one. That's not the actual drum. We need a drum roll. Right? So. No. What, did you try the Austin drums? Is that what you did? Seven? No. That's Austin drums. Oh, I see. I see. But. It's not a drum roll. No. Ooh, think... that went straight to my head. Wow. And the funny thing, I was just looking at this thing. It's only 11%, which no. a lot of the wines I drink are 13 or more. So that one went straight to my head right now. Whew. Look at that. All right, Ooh! so. <laughs> it's so delicious, though. For our fans, I, I know you heard us a many times. Yes. We have a grading scale. Yes. It's not complicated. No. One Super through ten. Weird. Straightforward, actually. One through ten. Yep, one through ten. With an eleven as being the asterisk. Eleven. It's a unicorn. Although, Denny has found one. Two. Yeah, you did. I did two. We still don't have one. Jody has not had none, I don't think. She's, no. She's not found one yet. A unicorn is a unicorn. Like, it should not be, like, every day that you find a unicorn. That's cranked up. That's one more. Well, one is you got to pay us. Or it's yeah, one it's is like it better be damn free. See what I'm saying? So I better not be having to pay for that. Five, five is five is, five is, five is okay. just okay. It's just okay. But typically the fives are the, the ones that you drink when you go to a party and they're supplying the wine for free, <laughs> mm. like weddings. <laughs> 
And sometimes they're ones. Buys when you want to go to get a red wine at a party, and they say, oh, yeah, we got a red wine. Okay, what is it? Sangria. No, that was a terrible, terrible thing at the party, wasn't it? <laughs> sure. Oh, they had sangria. Sangria. You and know what? That probably, that, probably, that probably moved more towards. And it, you know, I'm not trying to chump on sangria because it's probably some pretty no, good. No, sangria. But sangria. it's not a red wine. But it was not a red wine. It's not so a red it was wine. like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's not the same. I guess that would be the substitute. It's a tonight. red wine cooler, is what that is. Yeah. Uh, but, so, anyways, yeah, so we there's five middle party. road. It's, it's, it's drinkable. It's drinkable. And it's usually a really good second. So you start out with the good stuff first and then drink the fives after you've got a good buzz going. Ten. So you don't waste the good stuff. Tens are awesome. Yeah. Jody's, Seven through ten. Jody and me gave uh, I would like these, them a lot. We used collaborative and... ten before. Or two. two. We've gave I've done that. At least we did one. Yeah, we had actually a couple of tens. Maybe two, yeah. I think you gave something a ten and a half and I gave it a ten and then that was a pretty good one. Yeah, that's the closest you came to it. Yeah. Eleven and ten and a half. Because, like I said, I think that the unicorn should be extremely rare, because that's the point, right? So, different philosophies, different ideals. All right, Denny, I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I got, I got like foggy brain going on right now, so I'm like, woo, hello, okay. hello. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm back and I'm ready. I'm back and I'm ready. Okay. You ready to reveal? I'm ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Of course you gave it an 11. <laughs> That's pretty awesome though. I gave it a 10. Danny gave it an 11 because he gives away unicorn status for free. Third one. All the time. Third I know, it's one. his third 11. What is the wrong? You, it, it shouldn't be so easy to get 11. Three Pete. What is. <laughs> is that like Pete Moss? No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sports term. It's a three Pete. I know. Oh my gosh. Well, there it is. And that means that this particular wine, which is available on almost every grocery store shelf, this one's one you should go out I don't know. Get. I got this at the shop at. I don't know if it's at every grocery store shelf. Yeah, this is as popular around um, most of the grocery stores as like the Robert Madavi. Chateau Saint-Michel is everywhere. It's a very popular like um, brand that's everywhere. You can get that anywhere. Which is really cool. I mean, because... Jody sucked it down. Like it was a... Like, no, she was having a noun later. I, it does taste a little bit like a noun later. Like that. Like that. Like the apple one. <laughs> it does have a little bit of apple flavor in it, it seems like, to me. It feels like apple and the peach that they mentioned. It, it, it's got all of those good flavors in it. So I like that it tastes like fruit. And it's not too, too sweet. It's really light and, and easy to drink, obviously, because I'm having no problem sucking this down. It's very good. And all right, good. According to what she obviously. said, we, it's, the, it's been a long time since we had it. Well, not a long time. We've had not had many white wines, and no. so the last week we had the butterly, butterly, uh, buttery, <laughs> buttery, <laughs> buttery Chardonnay buttery, from buttery. Harbor Mandavi, and we both liked that one a lot. It was very good. I will drink that one again. And now we have the reasoning, the sweet reasoning. We can get some of these when my folks come to town. Well, the at least this one won't cost that much. I, it won't. Yeah. It, they're, they're coming to get um, the boy after school. And he's gonna stay with them for a few weeks and then we're gonna go travel down to Texas or across, I should say. It's just cross, across, up. sort of up. Sort of up? Yeah, sort here of we up. are, Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Uh, up to Texas to go visit with them for a little bit over July 4th. So during those weeks, we'll be traveling, we'll up, be north. traveling up north to Texas. That is just funny. So maybe we'll do this um, live from wherever we are. A Fort, oh. Worth, a, a Fort Worth special? Yes. Yes. Don't you love that idea? I like doing the, the, the whole idea of doing these wherever we are. Because all I need is basically my laptop. I mean, we can bring all of our rig with us, I guess. It's not that big. No, can... not that much. <laughs> it's not that much. So 
That will be coming probably in the future. Hey, I got your hand. <laughs> oh, Denny, your hand uh. is like... <laughs> oh, my gosh. And with that, let's talk about what's happening next week. Because, like I said before, this is the last week of the Class 6 series that we were doing. All these wines came from the Class 6, which is um, the military base version of the, the liquor store, right? So, next week we're starting... The splash wines. Denny, what are you doing? So this is the first one in the series. This is the La Crema Pipura. Um, this one was, it's in, um, oh, it's it's a Spanish wine. It's from Spain. It's all in Spanish on the a back. A dry red. It's a dry, it's a dry red, red blend, though, so. Is it tinto, tinto seco? Seco. Tinto Vino seco. Tinto seco. We'll have to look that up and see what that actually means. I don't even know. Yeah, everything's so, in Spanish. It's all in Spanish. But it's a wine directly from Spain. And this is the best part. It's a twist. Wait a minute. Wait. It's actually English right here. It's Spanish. Cherry English. red with violet hues. Intense aroma of ripe red berries over light jammy background. Here's your, here's your word. Jammy. Uh, it's a smooth and velvety on the palate with a nice finish. I like smooth and velvety on the palate. That's one of my favorite things. So that ought to be fun. We ought to show this one because it says it's best at 60 to 65 degrees. Okay, so that is a, a huge misnomer, by the way, that Americans think is... is Okay, so here's, here's, the, here's what we learned when we lived in Europe for a, a couple of years. Um, room temperature is not 80 degrees. And we have a lot of 80 degrees temperatures here in the United States. That is not the the temperature that you should serve a well, red our wine. Our room temperature here is like 76. It's 76, and it's way too warm. So most people in Europe, they actually have underground wine cellars. So they will keep their wines in the wine cellar. So when they pull it out, it's room temperature to 65 degrees because underneath, first of all, Europe is colder than it is in the United States. And... Their room temperature is around 65 degrees. So you should chill a red wine in the United States for at least 30 minutes before you open it and drink it. That is room temperature, and that's where it should be served at. So don't you just feel stupid. In, in yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so don't feel silly if you don't like your wine to be 80 degrees when you're drinking it, if it's red. Because everybody thinks that, you know, when you go to a restaurant and they bring it to you and it's room temperature... It's 76 degrees and it's too hot. It doesn't go down very smoothly. If you chill it just a little bit, it will actually be delicious and easy to drink. Don't be illin'. Don't be Do Ill. the chilling. Do the chilling. Exactly. There are some restaurants here. Actually, there's a place in uh, Fort Walton Beach here called Taste. And it's a wine bar with some fancy appetizers and it's a really cool place. Um, they actually have uh, certain wines on tap that are chilled to the perfect room temperature. Now, what about what about um, when we go on to this class six, and they have that little water thing that you put in there and you chill things real quick? Yeah, you can absolutely do that, even with a red, because if or you chill that, or we use our freezer thing, the little freezer thing. Oh yeah, we have the little things that you keep in the freezer. They're um, wine chillers. It's to keep your wine bottle that's already open chilled on the table so you don't have to keep going to the fridge however yeah it, it, it doesn't take long in the texas heat or the florida heat to uh get really warm really fast so you might want to keep a couple of those like we have a couple that we keep on rotation <laughs> so that we when, once one starts to warm up a little bit we'll just switch it out and bring out another bottle in the other well chilled, here's what joey does chilled. when people don't do it in restaurants and places she asks them if they can put ice in the water. No, the I do not. I asked them to put it in the cooler. You've had it asked before to put ice in there. No, I didn't. Only white wines. I don't do that to reds. No, what I used to do is go to a place and they would get to know me. Put it in the cooler? And I would say, I'm going to be drinking Cabernet. Can you please put your bottle in the cooler while I'm here? And they would always serve it to me out of the cooler. And they knew when I was coming, they would see me walk in and they would take the bottle of red wine and we would stick it in the cooler and say, I just put it in the cooler for you. <laughs> so I'd wait about 15 minutes and say, okay, now bring me out a glass. I'm ready. And then um, 
it would stay in the cooler as long as I was having glasses of wine right there. And I would do that at the bar. That's why you want to get to know your bartenders really well and tip really well. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do that, they will do what you ask and they will take care of you. So a lot of people just don't know that red wine should not be served at 80 degrees. Chilled. Chilled a little bit. Chilled. Yes. That's the secret. Because if you've ever tried a red wine and it just didn't go down very well because it was just warm and just bleh. Well, that's why it's not supposed to be served, <coughs> you know, that warm. <coughs> so there you go. There's your uh, wine lesson Great. for the day. <coughs> Greg, go down the right way, honey. And squirt it backwards. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, you all right? All right. You, you good. Get that? Good. All right, good. <laughs> good. Mm. Look at her. It's so damn good. I have Not at 11. Say. Not at 11. Dude. It doesn't have to be in 11 for me to like it enough to drink it like that because that was some damn good wine. It really was. But it's not a unicorn. Hello, unicorn. 11 is a unicorn. That's what we're that's what we're battling against right now. It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. <sighs> that's not a horn, Denny. <coughs> so, we're done. Yeah, with that. First of all, let me just say thank you so much for watching. Mm. We love it when people join us live. If you're watching this on the replay, then be sure to leave us a comment after you've watched the video and tell us what you think of Chateau Saint Michel, the Harvest Select Sweet Riesling, even if it's not the same uh, vintage, um, because this one is 2018, so we're in 2021. They've got uh, the 2020s <laughs> are out right now. So anyways, leave us a message, drop a comment underneath, and be sure to click this little button right over here. And subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing. And um, let us know if you have some ideas about what wines you would like to try out or you want us to check out for you. So um, with that, we will say adieu. And we will see you guys right here, same time, same channel, next week. And until then, go forth and drink wine. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.